So I had, you know, sitting down with Maple, I basically just kind of step by step figured out, okay, what, what does each, you know, odd part, you know, all of these have to get sent to. And so some of them are obvious. You kind of figure out the only choice that you have to do at each step is, okay, five has to get sent to one plus one plus one plus one plus one. At that stage where you're looking at all partition of five, those are the only ones that are left over. That is, that is forced. Uh, your, uh, your hand is forced. Um, five plus five. When you're doing partition of 10, the only thing that you have to, on one side is five plus five. The other thing is five twos. Okay, those two are forced to get sent to each other. And then the tricky thing comes down, so, so you can see all these handwritten notes that I made out. And everything is kind of, kind of forced, your hand is forced to you, until you get down to the partition of 22. So 9, 3, 11, not 1, 1. Yeah, so, 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 so let me just say, yeah, this, this, is my, this is my homemade partitions notation, that I don't write the pluses in between them, because that gets a little bit tedious, and somehow I'm able to keep track of what is 11 and what is 1, one plus 1. So, uh, when we, so we scroll down to 22, so that's a 17 plus 5 and the 11 plus 11. And so at this point, we have a choice, you know, that when we're working on this, you know, we have this choice. Do we send it to, does 17 plus 5 go to 444442, or does it go to 3333332111111? Or does it, go in, does it go the other way around? And so... Uh, I, I, I initially thought at some point to like turn this into a participatory seminar and, and like give people time, you know, not tell you what, what is going on here. So, so, it, so if you can see here, I, I have filled in all the right choices. As it turns out, there, uh, uh, yeah, these are all appropriate match. And I did not, I certainly did not guess it right on the first time when I was matching it up. But can anyone spot what is the feature? Of everything that the things are getting mapped to, so 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 the inputs is always going to be partitions that are all the parts are five mod six. What's the output? There's either five of a kind or one of a kind. Okay, so there's either five or a kind or one of a kind. And can we say anything more about the fives and versus the ones? I'm sorry? Yeah, oh, yeah, you're exactly right. It always starts with a five. Yeah, that, that's certainly good. There's one more pattern just to, just to spot here. It alternates five, one, five. Okay, it always alternates five, one, five, one, five, one, you know, as far as you go down. And so this actually ends up, the, 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 the big point here is that we should be interpreting the, the output as a distinct partition where we have taken the first index, the third index, the fifth one, and scaled it, you know, replaced each one of those by five copies of it. So, so what's going on there when we see something like three, uh, three, 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 two, one, 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 that originally was three plus two plus one, a distinct partition, then we scaled it all by, you know, replaced the the first one and the third one with five copies of, of that one. And so, and so this is when we're looking for a bijective proof that's very suggestive. And as it just so happens, the correct bijection that's going to do all the trick for us is going to be exactly Sylvester's bijection is going to be the one. We just have to interpret the input as an odd partition carefully in the right way. We have to, and then we interpret the output as a distinct partition. We patch everything together. Let me start filling in some details for us at this point. So, how do we figure out the output? We do the following. So, step one for figuring out the out output is replace each 6mi minus 1 with 2mi minus 1. So we're going to translate it down into just odd, odd numbers. So instead of, our, instead of the numbers we're working with are 5 and 11 and 17, now the numbers we're going to be working with are 1 and 3 and 5. And so just as a running example here, 23 plus 11 plus 5 plus 5 
it originally goes to 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. So that is just replacing 5 is the smallest, 1 mod 5, so it goes to 1, so on and so forth. And so then, Sylvester, so step 2 is Sylvester bijection this odd partition. which I probably shouldn't have just erased, but oh well. So using Sylvester, we get a distinct partition. So in the case of 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1, Okay, so in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 4, plus 1. So that is step 2. And so now, step 3 is, as, we, as, as we've been observing, replace this with 5 copies, replace this with 5 copies. Don't do anything to this one. And so... So from large and small, replace odd index parts uh, with five copies. And so now this becomes 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 4 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the assertion is that the resulting partition that we get after taking the, you know, the evens being broken apart into two copies together with this that we get here, the assertion is that this exactly matches, is, is a partition that matches this conjugate, uh, conjugate description here. And so that is, is that a hand about to go up? No. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've seen keys. So. Um, I was right to mine. That so. be odd number of parts. Yeah, is it? Because looking at your... It also just going from the conjugate. No, okay, so, 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 so let's just say, so this, this is okay here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what I meant, but let me just clarify what I meant here. So like this, so the part seven, it appears... Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, uh, we're talking about your appendix. Yeah. yeah, so... Uh, well, right, right, maybe. Just going from the conjugate. Right, um, right, 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 so. For instance, 4 has a 9. Yeah, I think, yeah, so we'll just flip that. Parity does the trick. Okay. <laughs> you know, parity isn't that important. Everything comes out in the wash. So, okay, um, back, back to where we are here. So we have 7, 7, 7, 7, 4, 1, 1, 1. We can see that, yes, this does, this does now mismatch the very well revised. <laughs> Uh, description here, and what, what's going on with the with the even parts? Those are getting broken down the twos. That's not going to change any parity issues here. And so then I'm going to so, so, so then I'm going to kind of wrap up this part of discussion. You can think about on your own time if you want to how to reverse this bijection. I'm sure that is a reversible bijection. Okay, so. There is... So is there a proof of McMahon's of this slide? Uh, I will. Uh, let me get back to that. And, uh, at, so it looks like I have eight minutes left. And so I McMahon didn't do it this way. I, uh, How did McMahon prove it? His? Uh, McMahon proved it, I believe, generating functions. I believe it was a, it was a classic generating function proof that, uh, that you basically start off by looking at partitions of, you know, pick one of your descriptions here, uh, of where no part appears exactly once and every part is less than or equal to something 
chain those generating functions and together. Has somebody found a bisected fork before you? Uh, yes, yeah, so there certainly are, are so, so, so two, two, two disclaimers here. There certainly are bijective proofs of, of McMahon. As I mentioned before, Fu and Sellers uh, have a bijective proof of McMahon. There, uh, I would not be surprised if there's other bijective proofs of McMahon. Uh, if, if, in fact, I, yeah, there are other bijective proofs of McMahon. Fu and Sellers was the one I was looking at. And, and they prove some generalization. And so similar to yours? Uh, it, it was, it, yeah, so, so, so like the, the basic idea of doing one thing to the even parts, and you're just breaking them in half and doing something else to the odd parts, that was inspired by, by them. Um, but I'll just point out that, that, I, I, that this identity is not McMahon. It's a different, ver you know, it, it's something distinct from McMahon. This is awesome. Right, yeah, the, 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 this is this is a, it's not a generalization, it just it's something inspired by my man, but different. Okay, uh, any other questions, comments at this point? Okay, so I will, uh, let's see here. The, I think that the, the thing I would like to do right now is to briefly justify why this works, because this, this might feel like a really weird, you know, we start off with a partition, just, just to show off here, this 23 plus 11 plus 5 plus 5, this is equal to 44, and this, that's 35, 44. So we, so we are making everything work out here. You know, they're, they're, you know on first glance, you know, uh, there's something magical going on here, that we start here, we go someplace, up, we do something, we get back to 44. And so why does this work? So why does this work? Well, whenever we're going from 6mi minus 1 to 2mi minus 1, we are, so our original, the, the sum, like in, in that case, n is 44 here, it can be written as the sum of things that look like, uh, ignoring the even part and stuff like that, can be written as something that looks like, so 6mi minus 1, we're going to the sum over 2mi minus 1, so we lost four times the sum of the mi's when we were doing this. So, th so this is, so four times the sum of the mi's, but the sum of the mi's is exactly the sum of the boxes above slash to the right of the main diagonal or on the main diagonal in this here. So, you know, because each, so 7 is 2 times 4. Uh, 2 times 4 minus 1. So that 4 here was those four boxes. Uh, and so that is exactly, so mi is exactly that. And so what's going on here, we were adding back in four copies of each of the, e, of each of the odd index parts. Some of the mi is equal to the to lambda one in the in the uh, distinct partition, where lambda one is the is the sum of the odd parts, and so what are we doing here? We're adding in four of each of these. We're restoring that four times the sum, and so that is how all of this stuff works. That that takes care of that. Questions, comments. Okay, so uh, let me wrap up with this by by talking about the stuff I haven't got to talk about yet, uh, just at a high level. So uh, Euler's identity, uh, the odd is equal to the state, can be it was generalized by Glacier, 
to have statements of the form that the number of partitions n where no parts congruent to zero mod k is the, sum, is the same number of partition n where no part occurs at least k times. Uh, and so that's, that's a direct generalization of Euler with the k is equal to two case that is you recover Euler. And so as it turns out, uh, William Keith at uh, Michigan Tech a couple years ago managed to, somebody, somebody conjectured he managed to provide a proof that basically he, he provided a bijection uh, uh, a bijective proof of that in the same spirit as Sylvester's proof. That there are some quantities that are going to get preserved in, such, in, in the same way that, uh, that we saw the quantity in Sylvester's uh, bijection gets preserved. And so, so, so the next thing, which is more complicated that I don't have time to talk about in 60 seconds, mm -hmm. is basically having more partition identities more families uh, of partition identities that is looking at instead of instead of uh, working off of you know zero mod two, we're, we're working off of you know the the, the the mod three case, and so one thing that I, that I have that I don't have a time to talk about is is that I actually have a proof of McMahon's identity where instead of reading this as this way, we read it as zero mod three or plus or minus two mod six. And so these parts get broken down to thirds and these parts are going to get mapped using the bijection that, that Keith provides. Uh, and, and so it's a little bit more complicated, but to the best of my knowledge, it's a new proof of McMahon. So, okay, why don't we call that wrap? Thank you.